take the first position, straight line parallel to both HK and BP. So if you take both front view and top view, you will get the true length. Go to the second position, straight line parallel to BP and incline to HK. It's parallel to BP, so front view, you get true length. It is inclined to HP, so in the top view, you will get reduced length. The third position, straight line is parallel to HP and inclined to BP. It is parallel to HP, so therefore top view, you will get true length. It is inclined to BP, therefore in the front view, you will get reduced length. In the fourth position, straight line is parallel to BP and perpendicular to HP. Straight line is parallel to BP, so therefore in the front view, you will get true length. Straight line is perpendicular to HP, so therefore in the top view, you will not get any length, you will only get point. Here in the fifth case, straight line is parallel to HP and perpendicular to BP. Straight line is parallel to HP, so therefore top view, you will get true length. Straight line is perpendicular to BP, therefore in the front view, you will never get any length, you will get only point. Sixth case, straight line lies on BP and inclined to HP. Straight line inclined to HP, so therefore top view will be of reduced length. Straight line lies on BP, so therefore top view will be on XY line. Straight line inclined to HP, so therefore top view will be reduced. Straight line lies on HP, so therefore front view will be of true length. You have straight line, next case, straight line lies on HP and inclined to BP. Straight line lies on HP, so therefore front view will be of reduced, it lies on XY line. Straight line inclined to BP, so obviously front view will be of reduced length. Straight line lies on HP and inclined to BP, the top view will be of true length. You have straight line inclined to both HP and BP, front view and top view will be of reduced length. Here is another straight line lies on a plane which is perpendicular to both HP and BP. So therefore theta plus pi 90 degree, both front view and BP Front view and top view will be of reduced length, lies on a single projector. Now let us see the orthographic position of planes. We are going to adopt a different strategy. Identify the planes into two groups. One is on HP. and the other one is on EP. Planes that are placed on HP and the other category planes that are placed on BP. So let us look at these planes that are placed on HP. Most of the problems, you know, the planes will be on HP. Further we divide this into two. One side on HP The next division is one corner on HP. Let us leave this VP for a moment. Let us see the thumb rule for the side position problems and corner position problem. Just take uh, the square lamina, simple square lamina. The side position problem, the rule is like this. Take the square lamina, let's say you place it on HP, draw the square lamina in such a way that one side should be perpendicular to x y line. Name this as A, B, C, D. Strictly speaking, A, B should be kept a perpendicular to x y line. So this is your front view. You can have a dash here, p dash within bracket, d dash and c dash within bracket. So what does the rule says? The side that is going to be on the ground should be placed perpendicular to x y. That is a b. One side, one side should be drawn drawn perpendicular to x y line, perpendicular to x y line. Whereas in the corner position, it is slightly different. 
take the same square lamina this is square lamina put it in a different position let's say the line joining the corner and the center of the plane let's say you have a square lamina in this position how do you draw this just to take 45 degree line put the side of the square draw perpendicular lines arrive with this here you are having the center of the lamina in the corner the line joining the corner and the center of the plane should be parallel to the x y line so here ab is this a b c d if this is the center the center and the a should be connected by a line to connect this this line should be kept parallel to x y line that is for corner position okay if you just uh, project this you will get the respective front view so you get a dash here then b dash c dash d dash the idea behind keeping this like is simple you can just keep a dash and tilt the other end up obviously b dash d dash will go up c dash will go up you will be left out with a single point here if you put one end and lift the other end obviously you will get two points on x y line so here this is for side position this is for corner position the rule is line joining corner and center of the plane should be parallel parallel to x y 